So back in March of this year, we were approached by two gentlemen who arrived at the lodge on a motorbike. And the story that they told was quite unbelievable. Um, the older gentleman had started a community school back in 2006, so he had literally taken a whole bunch of bush poles um, and built a classroom and started teaching the children of his community. He'd taken this upon himself because there was no option. The only option was to walk to a tumbi, which is about 10 to 15 kilometres, let's say. And at the time, the Tumbi school was no better than the Kela school. 2018, after lobbying, it was agreed by the community and by the Ministry of Education that the school would be registered as a primary school. So a teacher was attached to the school. And he basically told a story whereby he had been sent by the Ministry of Education to the Keller Primary School and had looked at the situation and said, there is no proper classrooms, there is no accommodation for myself or my wife. There is literally a few poles in the ground and that's it. In, in desperation, he's reached out to whoever he can think of and that's why he came to us. A couple of months later, he, he came back on his motorbike. So we went down there and we were, we were blown away to be honest. Um, the, the community themselves have moulded and fired almost 20,000 bricks, which they're transporting by ox cart. And Kennedy explained to me that, that he cannot say to them, stop. He cannot say there is no cement coming, there is no roofing sheets. He, he said to me he doesn't want to kill their spirit. So they are, they are creating a school f literally from zero. And we, we came back to the lodge that night and we had guests in camp that we were talking around the campfire with and we were explaining the situation. We hadn't even showed pictures, we hadn't even showed video. We just talked a little about what we'd seen. By the end of that night, these guests had undertaken to uh, pay for a borehole to be put into the school. You really have to understand that there is zero. My name is Vina Gimazira. I started this school in 2060. Um, I started as a community school teacher as I am today, so with the more than 70 pupils. In, in 2018, the government sent in a government teacher, Mr. Mubita. So we are, still, we are still going together to upgrade this school. <coughs> Up to date, we are still struggling together with my partner. So, uh, like he said, I'm Mubita Kennedy came here by August 2, 2018. So when I came, I found a lot of challenges. I almost ran away, but I, I said, no, let me see what I can. So by the grace of God, we, we met certain people that maybe can do something for us. Because people here, but they have done the best modded bricks. So if we can have some little bit of iron sheets and cement, then we can, we, we, we can be done. So just to put this in context, this is the, the, the Keller Primary School. Yeah. Now, how many pupils do you have here? About 150. About 150. So those that you are seeing there, they come in the morning. So we have others that come mid-morning. About 10.30, they go up to 15 somewhere. So, as you can see, the, the school building is basically bush poles with a few old tins on the roof. There's no weatherproofing at all. There's no water. Um, but as we've seen, the community are molding blocks. They're using ox carts to transport all the building materials. Um, basically, you just need cement, you need labor. Exactly, you need exactly. Assistance. Yes. Okay, let's have a, a quick look, closer look at the school itself. Okay. So, as you can see, this is what the community can do. But when it is raining, oh, it's chaos, my dear. So the rains, we, we tried to leave a space here so that fresh air can get in. But when it is raining again, rains get inside. Then the type of iron ships, as you can see, they're not very strong, lack of money. So we decided to get the cheapest. So this one, as you can see, is no longer used. We got the iron ships and put that structure there is my my house. That's where I stay. So um, basically, being a teacher here, one greatest challenge is the writing board. You see, this this material is not recommended. We need something which is fixed on the board, 
So we use chalk, like you see me, the one that we used here. Then as you can see, it's dark, a bit dark in here. There's no good ventilation. As you can see, there's also no proper school desks. No proper schools. We are supposed to have desks, but we are just using benches, this, and it's overcrowded, as you can see. A lot of them, no proper uniform. The people around here are very, very vulnerable, preferring to buy just a simple uniform. Yeah, we're, we're now in the beginning of winter. Winter, and then you can see they have no weather coats for, 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 for the season. As you can see, this one is shivering. So these are the challenges that we are facing. So uh, I'm standing here, this is our national identity. As you can see, we just wish, we just look for someone that can help. We are using a, a pole for, for, for the frag instead of a standard pipe. So we just want simple materials like cement, iron sheets, that can help us, labor, stuff like that. So people have tried, they have collected the upfront materials, all they need. They are a, a simple structure for a staff house. We just need cement and iron sheets, that can help us. Um, once again, my name is Mubita Kennedy. I really thank you people for visiting us and the support that you've rendered. We know you've done a lot for us. We wish you the best, a safe journey and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Fingers crossed, you have to start somewhere. Thank you.